Welcome back. This is the final tutorial within the Basics Beginner Series. And in this tutorial, we are going to compile and run our map. So at this point, we have all the necessary elements that makes a map being able to have a run in game. We have the BSP walls. The environment is sealed from the outside void from the blackness. So there'll be no leaks. We have a light and we have a player start. Now, I'm going to delete this and go through adding player starts again. So to make the map functional, you need at least one player start, either a counter terrorist or a terrorist. For a full functional map, you need at least 5 to 10 on each side. So we're going to add one player spawn for each side. So to add a player start, we need to use the entity tool. And by default, we have info player counter terrorist. So we're going to left click and add this player spawn inside the map. So I'm going to go into this room and in here we're going to add player spawn for the terrorist side. So again, entity tool, use the drop down menu. And if we scroll down, we have info player terrorist. Enable that and left click it to place it inside your map. Now right now in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, when you place an info player terrorist, you will see an error pop up. This is just a visual bug, a visual glitch but this will work when you run your map. So don't worry if you see this. Uh, there is a way to fix it by editing a text file, but we're not gonna cover that. Just know that if you see your error pop up when you add info player terrorist, this is common. If we take and double click, we can uh, see that this class is set to info player terrorist. Once we have a player start for each side, this will allow us to run the game and spawn either on CT side or T side. One thing we need to make sure that each of the player spawns is raised above the ground by a few units. If we don't do this, this will cause errors when we try to join the map and choose the team that we want to be on. So we need to make sure we select each of the player spawns and raise it up a few units. And let's go to the CT side, select it and make sure we raise it off the ground. So right now we have a player spawn for each side and now we can compile and run the map. So before we go through the compiling options, we need to make sure we save. I've been saving all along, but if you haven't saved, grab the file, save as, and save your map. To compile your map, go up in the toolbar and click on run map. Shortcut key is F9. You'll have a window pop up. This is the normal run map dialog box. You have two options. You can use the normal basic dialog box or you can click over to expert. This will give you more advanced options of compiling your map. Uh, you can use the drop down menu and set different configurations how you want your map to run. But starting off, keep it on normal. Make sure that everything is set to normal. HDR is checked on and I check on wait for key press when done compiling. This will keep the compiling window open after the map has been compiled so I can look through if there are any errors or any bugs that I need to take a look at if the map wasn't compiled properly. I also have additional game parameters. These are certain commands that run inside the game after compile, but I'm, I'm going to delete these and leave this blank. So now we are ready to compile and we're going to click OK. Compiling window will pop up and it will go through all the compiling options and uh, the text log that it generates. And since we left wait for a key press to close, uh, this kept it open and we can take a look at the compiling log and look if there are any errors that we need to deal with. Uh, if you run into any problems, this will give you a good overview of what's happening in the compiling process. So we can go ahead and close this. If you ever need to access the compiler log, you can head on to the installation folder, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and inside here, if you go into SDK Content, inside Maps, and find the folder where you saved your map. So in my case, it's in the Tutorial folder, and here under Basic Map 101, we have a text file. If I open this, this is the compiling log that it generates. So, we ran a compile option, and we still don't have the game come up and launch our map. This is currently a bug in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Usually what happens when you run the map and if you do not check don't run the game after compiling, what should have happened automatically is the game should have been launched and you should be able to test your map. But as of right now, this is a bug and you have two options. After you compile, 
you either start up the game and launch your map from the console option in the game or you click over to the expert use the drop down menu and select run map windowed mode this will also launch the game and the compiled map you have to make sure that you've compiled your map first before you can use this or launch your map from the game so first i'm going to use the run map windowed and click go here we can choose which side we want to be on and we can spawn inside the map this launches the windowed mode and my recording size of the video tutorial is a lot smaller than the actual windowed mode but it is launched in windowed mode and it's a lot easier to debug and uh, play test your map instead of launching full screen so let's go ahead and exit one good thing about launching the game using the expert mode and setting configuration to windowed mode run map is the editor adds additional game parameters that you see here on the bottom so if we ran this game in a normal mode we would need to add a few commands manually but when you choose the expert mode the parameters have been already set so this is very helpful another option is after you compile the map and when it doesn't run you could launch the game manually through steam and go through the console and run your map so let's do that now so open up steam and on the kind of start global offensive right click and go to properties we need to set a few additional launch options when we run our map so click on under general click on set launch options and here i set to enable console to run the game in windowed mode and to enable cheats we can also add a few additional game parameters in here uh, but these three should be good to go click ok now let's close this and launch the game here the game launches in windowed mode and opens up our console so we can go ahead and type in map space and name of the map that we just compiled basic map 101 and click enter choose the team we want and we spawn inside our map and let's exit open up the console and type in exit so to cover this really quickly again once you have two player starts or more inserted inside your map you need to compile it click on run map set everything to normal hdr enabled compile then once the compiling is done and until valve fixes the automatic launch map option we need to go back up to the run map go to expert use the drop down menu and select run map windowed click go or you launch the game through steam use the properties set extra launch options and run the map through the console when you launch the game so at this stage we are done with the basics beginner tutorial you should be very comfortable at navigating the hammer source setting up the bsp brushes lights texturing inserting props compiling and running your map and now we can move on to more functional map types and more intermediate to advanced tutorials on how to create a map for counter-strike global offensive